Hey, what is going on everybody? Aaron here from Break the Internet and welcome back to another Snapchat video today on the channel. And today guys, we're gonna be taking a few steps back and looking at the most basic, most rawest form of Snapchat. And that's why this video today is called How to Use Snapchat. So on my channel, if you looked at some of the videos, if you've either subscribed yesterday or been a subscriber for a long time, you know that it's a lot of in-depth stuff, tips, tricks, and secrets on really just tips that you wouldn't really know unless you either watch my videos or if you kind of spent some time by yourself with Snapchat. So this is gonna be for those of you that either downloaded the application today or within the past couple of days and you have no idea what you're doing. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. And how do we use this thing on our phone called Snapchat? Alrighty guys, so we're gonna move on over to the phone section of today's video, and this is going to be everything you need to know about Snapchat for the first day or the first couple of days you are using it. Now, after watching this video, you wanna see a little bit more advanced tips and tricks. I'm gonna leave three videos down in the description below, which is gonna bring you to three separate videos of five or more tips and tricks on those, which are kind of hidden features within Snapchat, which are gonna help you out and look like a Snapchat god in front of your friends, just saying. So anyway, guys, moving right into it, this is going to be the first screen that you see within Snapchat when you open it up. Also. Keep in mind, you're gonna get tutorials from Snapchat itself with little text bubbles telling you how to do separate things. And if that didn't work for you, then of course, that's probably why you're on this video. So looking at the main screen, you must know that we can do two of one of two things to navigate within Snapchat. You can either, either swipe to each thing, which is gonna to swipe to your inbox, to your stories, or down to your main control center. Or you can also just click each of the buttons and go to the screens that way. Now, we're gonna go through each and every one of these buttons that are on screen right here. Top left is gonna be your toggle on and off flash, so turning on and off your flash. This little button, little ghost up here, like I said, is gonna bring you to that top section. Once again, we'll go over that in just a second. And also, this button at the top right is gonna to switch to your front and back facing camera. And also, just a quick tip, you can actually double tap on your screen to do the same thing. But keep in mind, not everything that I do on here is gonna be exactly the same or work exactly the same as on Android. So just keep in mind, I don't have an Android device. This is an iOS, um, of course, an iPhone 6S Plus. So down here, we're gonna see this little story icon here, which brings you to all of your friends' stories, Snapchat stories. Or also down here at the bottom left, we're gonna go and bring you to your inbox. Now going to this, we're just gonna look at everything on this screen and we already looked at everything but this little button down here. What does this do? Well, this is the magic button of Snapchat, which is going to, if you click it one time, it's gonna take a picture. And if you hold down on it, it is going to then record a video for t up to 10 seconds. Now, having a video on here, and once you take a picture or video, you're gonna be shown with a lot of other different controls down here. Bottom left is going to mute the sound on your snap, so if you click that and it has a little line through it, then there will be no sound on that snap. The next one is going to be the save icon, which is gonna save a, either a video or a picture directly to your camera roll, or also clicking this next one was gonna uh, apply it directly to your Snapchat story. I'm not gonna do it because I don't want a chair on my Snapchat story at the moment, this current moment in time. Also the top right is going to be your customization, which is going to be the first one, is gonna be different stickers. So you can put up to as many of these as you want. You can pinch, you can zoom, you can uh, turn it around, you can do all di different things with these, and you can add as many as you want on the screen. Deleting this is just as simple by grabbing it and bringing it up to the little trash can and throwing it away just like that. Text icon is next, which is going to be something pretty cool on here. You can say, hello YouTube. And you can drag this up and down, move it to wherever you want, but further customization is just a click away by clicking the T once again and making it big. And the same thing with the stickers, you can make this big, small by just pinching it, zooming it, and doing a bunch of things like that. But also you can see the text is off center, not everyone likes that. So you can actually click the T once again, and now it is centered text. To customize this even more, you can then, once it's in the big version, you can touch it and then move it to whatever color you want right here on the camera roll or the, the, the color wheel, and then of course, you can move it around and make it big like you want to and wherever you want to put it. Last little, kind of little form of uh, customization will be this little pen icon right here, which is going to allow you to draw all over the screen. And then the same thing with the little color wheel over here. You can pick and drag to whatever color you want that's over here. Now, also, the thing that you can do here that a lot of people really like Snapchat for is the different filters. So we can swipe left or right to go to the different filters, there's color filters, there's the geotags which shows you where you are, there's the reverse, the fast motion, the super fast motion, the snail, as well as the time, the temperature, and the speed. So you can go ahead and have fun with those, customize everything that you want to within this. Now also the last thing that you need to know about this screen is a little button right down here, which is going to be the send icon, which once you click it, you can either add it to your story like this, or you can send it to whomever you'd like 
within your friends list. Now, the only thing that's a little bit different would be when you take a picture. You get a little bit of a different controls, of course. The only one that's going to be different is this one down here, which is a timer which allows you to pick how long you actually are going to, or the other person is going to be able to look at the snap. So you can either do one, te one second up to 10 seconds of viewing that picture. Now, that's pretty much it from this screen right here. If we move over to the left, we're going to go and see your um, inbox screen. So this is all the Snapchats that I have right now. And there's three colors that you need to remember. Purple red and blue. Purple is going to be anything involving a video. Red is going to be anything involving a regular regular picture. And blue is going to be everything involving um, text or the chat icon or whatever it may be. So on here, there's also a couple other things you need to look at is to see if they are either a, a solid color or if they are more of a little outline like this. An outline circle is going to mean that you sent or they sent you something and you viewed it. And the dark circle is going to mean that they've sent you something and that you haven't opened it just yet. With the, the triangles, the sideways triangles are going to be the send ones. So if you have one just like this, I sent a text to Opera Americano. She opened it, but she hasn't replied just yet. Same thing with these. Of course, we already talked about those. I'm just trying to find different examples of different ones. So you, it's kind of just, you have to look at it and, and go through them and kind of just get the feeling for it to know exactly what each of these mean. But just keep in mind that anything that's solid hasn't been viewed yet. And anything that has a little outline just like this is something that you may have opened or the other person may have opened. Now, moving on over to the right side, we're going to go and see our different stories. So these are the recent updates and you can click on one and see the different stories from the different people that either you're friends with or that um, you have added on Snapchat. Also, if you move over to your right one more time, we're going to get the Discover section, which is going to be um, not my biggest favorite thing about Snapchat, but these are just different things put on by different brands that you can go ahead and watch by going to ESPN or going to the different ones on there. And also you can scroll through them up here if you want, don't want to go all the way to the right to get to that one. Now, we've pretty much gone through everything as far as people sending you stuff, um, as far as taking a picture, as far as looking at the different stories. The only thing we haven't really looked at is going to be up here, which is one of your main control centers um, within Snapchat. So up here at the left, you can go and see a little tutorial. And this is how you take pictures of different people's BUAR codes as you just go um, over it and then you take a picture of it, which I'm talking about is right here. So this right here is a BUAR code, which is going to be a, pretty much a, a code of your Snapchat itself. So this is completely original to you. Nobody else has your same code. And then it's just, it's really cool how they have that added in here. What's basically people can scan you to find you on Snapchat. Also down here, you can see that Aaron FPS and then break the internet. That is going to be what people see when they look at my Snapchat. And if you click that, you can see you can edit that. The only thing you can't change is a little name underneath it, which is Aaron FPS. And that is a one-time thing. When you make your account, it tells you that you can't change that name and that will always stay the same. Also down here, you can go to the added me, which is these are the people that have added me. You can go to the add friends, which is going to give you four different options that you can add friends. You can actually add by username by searching someone's username. You can add from address book, which is going to connect to your phone. And that is going to um, take the different people's phone numbers. And if they've applied their phone number to their Snapchat, it'll just kind of bring it all up in there. So it can make kind of like cross promotion almost. Um, add by snap code is going to open up your picture. So if you've screenshotted somebody's snap code, then you can actually add them by that. And also you can add nearby. This is a little bit different just because you, you have to be next to each other. And then um, once you're next to each other, you both turn this on and then you can add each other that way. But I don't know why you wouldn't just use the BUR code for that. But of course, that is that here. And then up here, you're going to go ahead and get your trophies. And uh, these are all the ones that I have right now. I'm only missing this one down here. That is for the uh, take a picture of over 100 degrees, which isn't going to happen for a while because it is winter time. So going through everything on here, that is pretty much the basics within Snapchat. Um, and like I said, a lot of the other videos that I have on my channel are going to go more into depth on the things that you need to know. So up here is going to be the settings. I'm not actually going to go into there um, right now because um, I have my phone number right in there and my email address and stuff. And I don't want to kind of flash that to you guys. Um, but we can go ahead and go into that's more in depth anyway. This is kind of just a video to do the basics and show you guys how to go around, navigate through Snapchat and use some of the basic features. So anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. For those of you that have been subscribed for a while, I know you don't really need this video because I've had en enough videos out to make you guys pretty much pros about Snapchat. But I wanted to make this video to make sure that everybody that has either downloading it today within the past couple of days has no idea what they're doing to go ahead and get them uh, familiar with the application.
So anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Also, you can go and click any of the links that are on screen, the previous video, the previous video on my second channel, as well as subscribing if you're new and you enjoyed this kind of content and learning everything you need to know about Snapchat. So anyway, guys, like I said, my name is Aaron from Break the Internet. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Like I said, this is your number one stop shop for everything you need to know about Snapchat, tips, tricks, updates, and all that good stuff. And of course, guys, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.